Jonah Dempsey here. I'm at London Heathrow Airport. Just wanted to make a short video on sound bites and giving people little nuggets of wisdom. Um, I just did a, another video where this kind of came up, but I wanted to just, just touch on it again. So one thing that I've noticed about people who are really good at giving readings, and I don't just mean human design readings, I mean astrology readings, palm readings, any kind of analysis, is that they're able to give sound bites in a way that is not reductive but is actually allowing for complexity. It's like if you study complexity theory, complexity science, there's this idea of complexity thinking and complexity thinking is not necessarily um, like it sounds, it's not necessarily complicated. It actually can really simplify things but it can condense them. So I was thinking of two people I've seen kind of give off-the-cuff readings. Chaitan Parkin and Randy Richmond, J.R.R. Richmond, or uh, J.R., sorry, J.R. Richmond, um, J.R. And so, uh, yeah, uh, Randy Richmond Jr. Um, Randy has this great video where he's being interviewed by Loki, and you can find it on YouTube, and he's talking about how when he starts giving a human design reading, he likes to give people a couple bullseyes right off the bat. Like he likes to just tell them a couple of very personal things about themselves that are kind of revealed in the chart. Like someone had, you know, 59.4 and he's like, well, you need to be friends with someone. You won't be able to be sexually intimate with them unless you, uh, you know, are actually close to them as friends. And that's like a pretty powerful thing to know. And to be able to tell someone that right off the bat and actually can heal a lot of their complexes because they might have felt like there's something wrong with them. I mean, in, in his particular example, that person was with a sex worker and was unable to be aroused and kind of had a little complex around it. And it's like, no, of course you're not able to be aroused. You didn't know that person's name, you know, or you didn't know them very well. You'd only just met 59.4. You know, 59.4 needs to be friends. Now, in the case of Chaitan Parkin, I watched him at HDHD do this incredible thing where he's able to give people a feather in their cap. They'd meet him, and within a minute, he'd be able to give them something they could take with them from that encounter. And I really tried to learn from this. It's something that I, I try to do as well. It's like if you meet somebody, if someone will contact me for a reading. I'm on hi hiatus. I don't give readings. But I say, send me your body graph, and I try to give them at least like one or two or maybe three, if I'm really lucky, things that might be helpful to them or even just like little condensed sound bites that they somehow can take that and be like, oh, Jonah said that it's a, you know, I still remember the sound bites Chaitan Parkin gave me when I met him in 2017. I met him all the way back in 2017. I'd only been in human design two years at that point. And he um, said I was like a whirling dervish. And he said, uh, cross of healing. Oh, you know, you're walking through the doctor's office and everyone's waiting to see the doctor and you're just going through and saying hi to them and then at the end they, they leave because they're cured. They're healed. Or he told me uh, I probably have to take three showers a day because I absorb so much energy from people. Things like that. These little, little kind of compressed compressed bits of information that someone can take with them. So I guess my only topic in this video, and I'll keep it really short, is just don't be afraid of sound bites. Try to give people a few things like that. Now, that, that's not the whole reading, right? As, as J.R. JR Richmond said, it's um, there's a song to the body graph. And when you're looking at a body graph, you're trying to find what that song is. There's a melody there. And it's not that the song is only the sound bite. It's different. But you can get to the song, but the sound bite can be useful. It can be a way of either disarming someone or getting them to be more open to it, or even just giving them something that they can take with them easily that's more immediate than the unfolding of the song of the body graph that may, may take more time. So just some thoughts on how we approach readings.